Yo, what's good? This is your boy Pain, where we slide right in with that shotgun. <laughs> and in today's video, y'all see it in the top. Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. Today, we got some special info that just came out from the Pokemon Company. Um, they pretty much released some information regarding the Indigo Disc. And they actually just announced that the Indigo Disc will probably have the hardest Elite Four ever in the Pokemon history. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to be having VGC battles like you see on the big scale tournaments. So let's go ahead and read what the Indigo Disc will be bringing to this new DLC, man. Let's get it. This compounded with the second part of the preview we got to play where we got to face off against one of the Blueberries Elite Four. Uh, was it? What's your name? Armaris. This started off with a trial, much like how the gyms had trials to complete the Paldea, and this one was the one shown in the trailers where you could properly fly on Coridon and Maridon. And I had to get to the end of the course while flying through all the rings. This lulled me into the false sense of security when it wasn't that tricky, but the battle itself was a different matter. We were told going into the different save was made for this a team of level 80s we had for the first part of the preview just couldn't handle facing off against a murray's so instead we had a new team of level 88 with competitive movesets and hold items yet despite that we were told to expect to lose it and going in i could see why straight off the bat armies went in with the most some of the most classic and brutal double battle strategies and every pokemon on her team felt like it was a means to counter any possible weakness okay so as you guys can see from what we just read that you know even when they went in with level 80 mines even when they went in with level 88 mines they were still told they're going to struggle so this is going to be the hardest elite four that we've ever played against vgg vgc sets i'm sorry vgc sets are coming and with that being said i think it's time for us to put the most popular four mons onto the channel just so you guys can have a good understanding or what move sets or mons you should probably bring so you know this elite four is a cakewalk for you so let's go ahead and get straight into it man let's get it as you guys can see on the screen right now we are at pika analytics right now this is the pretty much the biggest site for competitive vgc players i don't play vgc i only play singles because you know that's just me I don't, i'm not really a fan of doubles but pika analytics is definitely where you want to go if you want to see the best stats for all the you know most popular vgc pokemon or what's trending at the moment so we have Flutterman. These are the most popular mods. We have Flutterman, Iron Hands, Landorus, Ogre Pond, Tornadus, Urshifu, Ogre Pond, Rilla Boom. So as you guys can see, the list goes on, 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 on. We're just going to cover a, a couple of mods. I don't want to sit here all day. If you guys did want a little bit more information or just want to see what movesets you should be bringing on your mods, go to Peaky Analytics down in the comment section. I'll make sure I pin that for you guys real quick. The first most popular mod is Fluttermane. As you guys can see right now, Fluttermane has a whopping 50%, 50% usage in VCC. That means for every, all the teams, 50% of the teams have Fluttermane. So uh, let's see the most popular moves. We got Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. Um, it's best teammates is right here. So it's best teammates is Iron Hands, Iron Hands, Landorus, Duran. so literally these two literally pair up together so if you guys are bringing him make sure you get a copy of this that means you're gonna have to have both games to know somebody that has you know your opposite game of what you're playing so these two you know go in tandem with each other so iron hands landers so these three are all the same landers is going to be a little bit harder to get if you have not played any of the other games but i don't think you'll probably need a landers like that if you guys can just get these two i think you just might be solid ogre pond uh oh yeah so a lot of these mons we can already get you might not be able to get tornadoes but these are the most popular ter uh teammates you can bring the items the most popular item for flutter main is the choice specs next is booster energy focus stash pixie plate and its ability is photosynthesis if you guys are wondering what um ev build uh, ev iv build you should have just give me one moment it'll be on the screen right now so as you guys can see on the screen right now we are on smogon if you guys don't know what smogon is it's a competitive website for competitive vgc singles or any type of pokemon related you know uh metagames you want to play i've been on smogon since 2007 yes i've been on here 
since the creator was still on here chaos so i've been on this thing longer than all your other favorite youtubers and i'm gonna be real this is a very very good resource resource when it comes to making a competitive pokemon so let's go ahead and get straight into it like i said earlier it had moonblast shadow ball that's the game protect but it didn't have the ev spread the ev spread is right here the ev spread you want to go out for is 28 evs 212 defense 68 special attack four special defense 196 speed this is going to be the problem a lot of people are going to be facing is the zero ivs a lot of people want zero ivs in their attack right now there's real no current process in order for us to get this without just getting straight lucky but within the indigo disc i'm 99 percent sure that there will be a way for us to drop our ivs down so for uh, in order for us to get zero attack ivs so i'm really looking forward to this but if you're just going into it don't worry about the ivs too much um all you really want to be worried about is this right here all this right here and the terror type so let's go ahead and continue so that was flutterbane the next bomb we have is iron hands iron hands is a very very good mine that you probably want to end up bringing um uh a very very good terror mine. his most popular moves is drain punch fake out wild charge heavy slam volt switch best teammates is fluttermane like i just said and all the other ones are below the items he's holding is assault vest citrus berry booster energy and he has the cork drive is 100 percent the ev spread is 252 252 it doesn't really break down all the you know the reasons behind this as well so let's go back to smogon real quick so here we have iron hands uh the vgc 24 regulation so that's the current regulation we are in the number one set that seems like it's going to be used is uh the offensive pivot wild charge drain punch heavy slam fake out with the assault vest cork drive adamant nature and here's the ev spread right here you can also run the different terror types if you would like i'm not sure which one's better because i don't play vgc but um this is definitely one of the other mods you need to be running if you guys want to have a very very good experience with the indigo disc dlc since it will be the most competitive let's go ahead and get straight to our next mon here um so we can't really get landorus we'll get ogre pond so we'll try ogre pond so ogre pond wellspring all you got to do is play the dlc um for this and everything should be gucci you feel what i'm saying uh it's most used moves ivy cudgel spiky shield horn leech and follow me and then after that swords dance power whip and all these other moves most popular teammates like i said is iron hand flutter flutter so if you guys look if you guys are going to indigo disc make sure you have these three bond this bond this bond and ogre pond you guys can get in the game if you guys don't have you know the version exclusive just ask for a trade or just find a way to find it within the next three weeks you feel what i'm saying let's go ahead and continue um the uh, items is well wellspring mask uh, his ability is water absorb his ev spread is zero 252 004 252 so if you guys don't know what that even is or even looks like you guys kind of confused let's go ahead and go back into smogon real quick we are back we have ogre pond wellspring as you guys can see right now grass water um the terra and base um this is what you really want to be using let's go to vgc here real quick this is a setup sweeper for vgc i guess like i said i'm not really too sure i don't play vgc but we have IV cudgel horn leech swords then spiky shield slash focus energy with this well spring mass water absorb uh you got adamant level 50 252 hp 152 attack 84 defense 12 special defense so look all these stats i know you guys probably wondering like how come both of them have different stats it all depends on um what your team needs you feel what i'm saying all depends on what your team needs as you guys can see i mean he has a jolly here with 252 50 attack 252 attack i mean you got some with 252 health of 40 speed so they're all different they're all based off what your team needs but you know what smogon says um i usually just go smogon because like i said they're dedicated to you know pokemon sets and the, the look the dedication behind these people that are on this site is unmatched so i mean you can usually use any set you want to use but my best i'll go smogon we'll cover one more mon as you guys should probably be bringing um because that's only three uh let's see here so all these other mons you can get so chin pal you can also get chin pal in the game as well so chin pal is also another mon you can get inside the game just by simply just playing it you guys don't need to have all these you know one two three four you can just have these four that i just put into the video let's go ahead and get straight into chin pal chin pal you guys already know what the move is man it's dark or die man dgod but anyways vgc move wise he has protect sucker punch ice school crash sacred sword ice spinner 
um his teammates are flutterman urshifu landris iron hands rillaboom dragonite and ogre pond so honestly if you go in there with um if you go in there with ogre pond iron hands and uh flutterman with chi pal chin pal you should be gucci bro the items he has focus as life orb uh sort of ruin his ability and here's his attack spread um i'll bring him up right now on smogon so here he is now on smogon let's go ahead and click vgc right here so chin pal vgc regulation so this is the most recent one so this is labeled as glass cannon he has ice spinner ice school crash lash out sacred sword sucker punch protect with the item focus sash sword of rune uh 252 and attack 252 and speed i was about to say this is probably the only um uh ev spread i'll probably think this is probably neutral for all sets of uh chin pal he is a glass cannon with the ghost terror type so yeah man if you guys needed help with what mons you should probably bring for the indigo disc dlc um those would be it but i'm gonna keep it a buck with you if you guys do want to have it a challenge go into the dlc just with level 73 bonds you feel what i'm saying level 73 i think that should be the highest and if you guys actually want to get your money's worth and play it how it's intended to be played go ahead and do that i'm really looking forward to uh you know the indigo disc just dropping just in general because we are kind of like in a drought at the moment there's really nothing that we can really do at the moment uh indigo disc not indigo disc teal mass is really light so i'm really looking forward for this to you know come full circle but yeah that's pretty much um the best bonds you should probably bring for the dlc for the indigo disc if you guys are not a competitive player like i said go to peaky analytics go to smogon and just come into these sites will put you on the right path hopefully this video did help i had a couple people ask me to make this video for them hopefully this video did help and yeah that's all i got y'all that's all i got but look before you go if you was feeling the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm gone